Hungary is reeling from the shock resignation of President Catalin Novak amid a storm of controversy over her pardoning of a man involved in a child sex abuse scandal. President Novak, a vocal advocate for traditional values, stepped down after facing mounting pressure from both within and outside Hungary. The scandal erupted when it was revealed that a man she pardoned last year had been convicted of covering up sexual abuse at a state-run children's home. The decision sparked widespread outrage, with thousands taking to the streets in protest and opposition parties demanding Novak's resignation. The public outcry underscores the gravity of the situation and the deep concern over the protection of vulnerable children. While President Novak's resignation marks a significant moment in Hungarian politics, it also raises questions about the future direction of the country. Will Prime Minister Viktor Orban's grip on power be affected by this scandal? Only time will tell. In response to the controversy, Orban's government has proposed amending Hungary's constitution to prevent future pardons for those convicted of crimes against children. But will this be enough to restore public trust in the ruling party? As Hungary grapples with this political upheaval, it serves as a stark reminder of the importance of accountability and transparency in governance. The president of Hungary holds a primarily ceremonial role, acting as the head of state. However, they also possess the power to veto legislation or refer it to the Constitutional Court for review. Most executive powers, including the selection of government ministers and leading legislative initiatives, rest with the prime minister. Katalin Novak made history as Hungary's first female president when she assumed office in May 2022. However, her tenure came to an unexpected end on February 10, 2024, with her resignation sparking a period of interregnum until the inauguration of the next president. According to Hungarian law, the National Assembly is tasked with electing the president for a term of five years, with a limit of two terms in office. Candidates must be Hungarian citizens aged at least 35 years old, and nominations must be proposed by at least one-fifth of the Assembly members. The presidential election must be held between 30 and 60 days before the incumbent president's term ends, or within 30 days if the office becomes vacant. If no candidate secures the required majority in the first round, a second round is held between the top two candidates. The independence of the president's function is safeguarded by constitutional provisions, prohibiting them from engaging in public, political, economic, or social functions while in office. Additionally, candidates must refrain from any paid professional activity during their tenure. According to Hungary's basic law, the President of the Republic serves as the symbolic representation of national unity and ensures the democratic functioning of state institutions. As the Commander-in-Chief of the Hungarian Defense Forces, the President holds significant powers, including the right to participate in National Assembly sittings and initiate laws or national referendums. The President plays a crucial role in the appointment of key government officials, including the Prime Minister, judges, and heads of regulatory entities. Additionally, they have the authority to grant individual pardons and make decisions related to citizenship matters and territorial organization. Immunity is granted to the President of Hungary, shielding them from criminal proceedings during their term in office. However, provisions exist for the removal of the President if they intentionally violate the basic law or commit offenses voluntarily. This process requires a motion proposed by at least one-fifth of the National Assembly and subsequent proceedings before the Constitutional Court. In the event of a finding of responsibility by the Constitutional Court, the President is removed from office, highlighting the checks and balances within Hungary's political system. According to Article 12 of Hungary's Basic Law, the term of office of the President of the Republic can end in various ways, including completion of the term, death while in office, incapacity lasting over 90 days, resignation, or dismissal by the National Assembly. In cases of temporary incapacity, the Speaker of the National Assembly assumes presidential powers until the President's recovery. The National Assembly decides on temporary incapacity, ensuring continuity in governance. Throughout history, Hungarian presidents have played a vital role in the legislative process, exercising powers such as vetoing laws and proposing legislation. From Arpad Gunj to Katalin Novak, each president has left their mark on Hungary's political landscape. 